Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO where last episode was probably the biggest advancements we have ever done so far in this airport and that is because we've now extended the airport itself, the whole terminal. We've now got additional medium aircrafts now landing. We've redone the security, made it a whole lot bigger as we kind of built the building more down this way. Got a slightly larger baggage claim area. We've redone the insides, but we've done a lot of research in too. We now have the ability to have night flights, so planes can land any time of day right now, which is amazing. We had uh, hired the right executives to make sure that we have the auto planning schedule on. Things are going really well. We've got the medium ACT tower too, so we can have up to 75 flights a day. It's all happening. But we did kind of run out of time last episode, and now we have big issues with trying to get people in and also out of the airport on time. So we have issues. Uh, people can't pass through security entrance, apparently. i got to set all the queue stuff up and that kind of jazz. But we're now officially making money. We're now making money. Yesterday, well, let me check, check yesterday. Yesterday we made 17 grand, but again, I mean, <sighs> loan repayment, 116. I did have to get some big boy loans, so hopefully we can slowly start repaying these back right now. Uh, right now we have to repay, um, I believe, 245,000 on this loan. Uh, 685,000 on this loan, which will eventually pay itself off, and then I'll be a little bit cheaper on the day. So think about it, if I never had those daily loans, add an extra 116,000 on top of that, and that's how much profit I've been making a day. Man, things turn around for us. Now, this is not going to be our only airport. Eventually, once I've got a couple of million in the bank, I'll destroy it, and then we're going to build a larger international airport, which is going to be really, really exciting. So this is just our starter airport to make me some sweet, sweet money. So as always, guys, if you are enjoying this series and want to see more, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new in here, then make sure you do subscribe, so you're notified when that next episode does come out. Now, buses don't come fast enough. I don't know if there's a way in which we can increase the amount of... Uh, buses coming all that kind of stuff i don't know i don't know if that's a thing or not i have no freaking idea but we did last episode research the subway permit which means i can then build a subway station which is gonna enable us to have a higher capacity to bring people in and out of the airport so that will be kind of exciting as well so to do this then how much is a subway it's gonna cost us a hundred thousand to build um, but the structure of it, I got to delete some stuff. So I'm thinking, where should I pull it? I mean, I think there one, well, there will be a good spot. But it does mean I got to demolish uh, a little bit of my stuff right now. So if I demolished these three, I don't know how wide I've got to make it. But we'll just kind of go for that for now and get our builders to do it. So as well as doing that, we still got to fine tune a lot more stuff. These guys are screaming out for the baggage right now. They're like, where's my baggage? And the short answer is, where is their baggage? Is this the dude coming in right now, hot and heavy? Do I need more ramp agents? The staff right now, my janitors are overworked. Ramp agents, do we need more of them? I'm not too sure. Do I need more vehicles? Bout loaders? Oh, we, oh, I have no bout loaders, but free jobs available. Ha ha ha, no one of these people are screaming out for bags right now. So vehicle wise then, let's go to purchase them. I need some belt loaders. Now a belt loader is, what is it? Where is it? Can I, why can I not see it? Am I blind? What did it say I needed again, sorry? Belt loader truck. That, wait, hold on. That's the truck with the conveyor belt on it, isn't it? It is. Do I not have... Why don't I have any? Is it because I can't... Transit, baggage... Stair truck... Right, I did slip baggage. Oh, no, no, this is de-slipped in baggage, right? So these are my baggage trucks right now. We have none of them. But do you reckon I just need more in general? How many baggage trucks do I have? I have four anyway. And I've got a lot more aircraft, so I'm going to need a lot more in general. So let's go for let's get some more in then. So we got roofless ones. Which um are higher 
four more and see how that pretty much goes so these guys get in their bags right now the bags now all coming through yes the bags are now on their way i still am yet to sort out the baggage scanner stuff oh my goodness basically like you are so damn foolish but let's get all this done anyway so we've got a, we've got enough then to have what we need to build our subway entrance which will go just there okay so i do need to build a little bit more sidewalk just to cover that frontage off just there so hopefully we can get people out of the airport so much quicker rather than them just relying on buses taxis and being dropped off but i also want to try and start building a nice little car park as well i think that would be kind of cool to kind of slightly get so let's have a little fast forward then let's get all this new stuff done let's get these new baggage trucks in let's get these um subway stop in let's get it all in boys let's skadoodle let's g -g go so i'm waiting for him to kind of finish this i wonder how much all this q stuff will then change this will be interesting right so they're almost done with building this little subway stop right now they're getting pretty close so that's now built and when will we start seeing the first few people using it there we go now are these guys wow okay look at how much it's look how many people are now walking out so are these guys already locked and loaded and they're kind of dead set on the fact that they're getting on the bus so they won't leave their current queues is is that what's happening but there's a lot of people now coming in and out and using that subway stop which is going to be a huge help for us so we'll just see how things progress and how things change as we kind of tick along and move along right now but again we still got some issues so i still need janitors so we'll hire a couple extra janitors right now because they're screaming out um to be helped so hire a janitor hire we'll hire two more there we go we've got to get our cafe back in and sort all the stores out as well because i wanted to kind of get rid of this store here move it here so as they kind of leave the security they walk through the shopping area and do like the cafe restaurant in this side too so they can grab some food and eventually we got to extend this further up too. make a lot more room so hopefully things work out for us then why are these just chilling they're just standing there i don't know why are they arrived too early maybe who knows who freaking knows at this point but we should start to see some huge differences now uh ticking along right let's just forget that queue for a second because that is just going to be coming in thick and fast vehicle asks this side what's this do oh you can change the side it comes in interesting now i could turn it off forcing them to all then take a different and alternative route which i'm then hoping it would maybe push them to then start using the actual subway which it does for a certain or so many of them do the same thing here turn that off which then forces them all to go and hit the subway or choose an alternative method of transport right i'll turn it back on and that kind of gets rid of my queue but then we got the big boy queues of people trying to check in <laughs> so many queues for days so we gotta sort these queues out in general oh it's a, okay, suspect baggage yes i know just leave it i will get it done don't worry i will get it done but let's build the queue system anyway um right let's just kind of copy what we've done previously now it's gonna be a bit different because these ones gotta go like sideways which again i don't really have much room to kind of maneuver with but we'll work something out for them we'll do we'll do them ones a little bit different so cues bam bam going all the way around the recon there we go so at least we've got some queue system involved <laughs> it's not the best it's not the best so for this one i'll bring it well it's gonna have to kind of go this way down unfortunately it's a bit awkward but at least i can get them away from queuing at this point here i know this one is a little bit of a annoyance at the minute so what i could do is make it come up and then come straight down just so i can get them moving basically and then this one 
it's not the best system. But it allows me to be able to have some kind of control. It's not the best. It's not the best. Trust me. It's not the best right there. So here then. I don't think we could build queues for these, could we? Oh, no, we can. Who do I think I am right now? Right, let's get these queue systems set up now so we can have some organization on the scene. I think that will be perfect in terms of the size. So repeat the same process here. There we go. Repeat the same process here. Oh, that one's gone a bit too far. Right, keep it going. So, they don't cause these big lines going across my airport at this point. Again, there is some type of organization. Right, bam, 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 bam. So, when we do eventually build our big boy airport, again, we're then going to have to, like, you know, understand we're going to need a lot of space. Looks a little bit better, right? Looks a little bit better right now with the amount of people coming in. These guys are still screaming out for their baggage it still takes a little bit too long doesn't it yes i know baggage i get it i get it now does it take too long because i need more ramp agents ramp agents i've got 23 service vehicles i still need a bag baggage loader now is that something i can research um operations r d new project so if i wanted to do the belt loader yes Right, let's get that research right now because apparently it's a I've got jobs available for it, but we don't have enough vehicles for it, right? Now that there's seven of there's none available there. There's none available there, so I think I might need to also build an additional parking space too for the uh the aircraft stuff. Uh contract the site. Which one is it now that I needed? Is it within this vehicle car park of seven? All right, we'll build another one. I'm going to build it sideways just here. Eventually, we have to kind of redo all these roads and whatnot. But again, it's not my plan just at the moment. So we'll add that in. So any additional vehicles I now got have a place to park because I feel like we don't have any parking spaces available at the moment. Um, so before I won't build the rest of the terminal until I've got a little bit more cash. But I do need to start generating more a revenue in general. What is this here? Baggage belt? Do we have two random baggage belts just chilling? We do. We do. Now, let's get some seating available for these guys. So while they are waiting for their bags, they're not just kind of bored out of their minds, out of their schools. Um, at least we can have them sit down, relax... And uh, wait for their backs. Did that that one not place? What happened here? There we go. So at least they can sit down and wait for their bags that way. He's really hungry and we have no food options available. Let's build that next then. So before I do reallocate and relocate the actual um, shopping section, which will be around here, we'll do the Restaurante. Now, eventually... I'm going to have to extend this, but should I extend this first? How much will that cost me? If I went just to there, like build this section, so then I can like design ultimately a little bit more space to add this in. Do I go the width of a full stand? So many decisions right now. So many decisions. Right, I'm going to risk it for the chocolate biscuit. I'm going to drop that in. It's going to give me no cash left, but the money we've got coming in right now should see us all through. So forget this hour then, because I've just dropped like 60 grand down <laughs> to build this. It's now about getting the aircraft, get, getting the people out to earn us that revenue. Yes, I know about the baggage. Please leave me alone. So at least these guys can sit down before they start complaining that their baggage is not coming through quick enough. And then eventually we'll be able to buy some belt loaders. Which would be really important for us. Uh, we'll get rid of this and this. I know about the... Oh, wait. Yeah, I know about the baggage. Leave me alone. 
Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to have to get that done, because that's going to annoy me if I don't. Right. Okay, I shouldn't, shouldn't have put that down before they finished building all the... Or destroying all the walls. But, um... Right, last few bits and bobs you got to get done. Wait for them to get rid of the two additional walls just there. There we go. So it's now all a secure area. Great stuff. People are coming in hot and heavy. Through the security areas. Again, great stuff. And now we're just waiting. We're just waiting to earn revenue, which at the moment doesn't feel like I'm earning revenue. What's going on? So on the day, I made 1,800. But then again, we're only two, three hours into the day. So we see how the rest of it kind of ticks along. But um, right, we can start planning it out without spending any money anyway. So if I go to shops, no restaurants, sorry. And if I then zone the food court area, so let's say the food court area. I want it to be kind of like localized. So what I could do is I could actually, how cheap is it to place flooring down? Concrete uh, floors. Hang on, we got. Mm. Carpet. A fancy mat. It's $2 a pot. So. Let's say I go as far as here, if I just do a line there, to not get caught up with... Oh my goodness me, I need money. Guys, I need money. Yes, I understand that we're losing money and all that kind of jazz. Is it because... I don't know what it is because. Is it because my bank loans are so high? I mean, I would like to repay them, please. <laughs> I thought we were turning profit on the day. What happened? What happened right now? I mean, other expenses, construction, supplier costs. Loan repayments, yeah, it is a big chunk of money every hour. They are coming down. They are coming down. Um, I don't want to pull out another loan. But we should start making money now as the planes start leaving and other planes start landing. Yeah, there we go. We're back into profit. I think it was just an awkward moment. I'm praying it was an awkward moment. Um, okay, I delayed that flight. Apparently, there's a delayed flight coming in. Now, are we missing out on anything? Another fuel truck and another baggage truck, apparently. Ah. Okay. Which makes sense. Does make a little bit of sense. Right, we're, we're seven grand in the bank right now. It's fluctuating. So when planes are not landing or taking off, I'm only generating money by passengers, by fuel, by them in the shop, by them potentially using the bathroom, because yes, we do charge for them to use the bathroom. So having that restaurant is going to be very, very important. So let's get back to business. So that grey copy. So yeah, I want to go as far as that. And if I went as... I mean, we're not going to have anything here just yet. So what I could do is I'll bring it to about there. Now let's bring it to there. And so that's a free. That's a free. Oh, insufficient funds. Every time I go to place down this flooring, I lose out. This flooring's not even that expensive. So bringing you across to there. So I'll turn this rectangle in here into the cafe. Gives a little bit of a walkway. And then we can have the store coming up here. And into this bit. I do need to rearrange and move the bathroom. So as we extend a little bit more. I might build the bathroom just here. That will be quite important. So I'll move that bathroom more low. I mean I actually could put the bathroom here. Hmm. Yeah, a couple of interesting thoughts to take on board there. So that cost me a grand, so I'm no one putting the store here. I'm going to kind of ignore my issues for just a minute. Well, and how expensive is always going to be? A large one. I always forget which way this has got to go. So it's got to be this way around. Right, sweet. Well, this way. Mm, yeah, this way if I have it here. 
So if I go, it's going to cost me a grand, these are. So if I just do two, then we'll do the display fridges. Which way do display fridges go? Okay, so them circle things go at the very top. Gotcha. So how much are these, by the way? T 250? Holy moly. All right, a couple of display fridges there. Insufficient funds. <laughs> Damn! But there's lots of people coming through the security right now, so... We're definitely having passengers getting on board soon. So we'll do one, two, three. So a couple of display fridges down. Then we're going to have all this additional stuff right now. So we need a beer tap. So if I did, that's going to cost us 200. One, two, three. This machine here, what was that? Was that the like an espresso machine? No, coffee machine, sorry. So I could do... Oh, I don't know, one gap there. One, two, three. There we go. Then we've got the sandwich tables. So if I put these kind of going inward, they're going to cost 100 a pot. So sandwich tables, like backing up on one another like this. Snack tables. Make sure I've got this the right way around yet. Lots of delicious snack tables for all the food stuff. And a food counter counter top to frame a cafe or bar area within it. So is this to frame an area within it? So is that how it would work? Is that how it works? Kind of, yeah. It adds those finishing touches, doesn't it? It does look like it adds those finishing touches, which is quite nice. But, but I've got to get a load of tables and chairs in. He's one I got it done. Right, I did the rest of those um, counters until a little bit later, but let me just get the um, tables and chairs in right now. So seating, tables, we've got round tables or square. We'll go with square. So, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Oh, let me put, put, can I cancel that one? No, I don't want to delete the room. There we go. <laughs> I, just want to, I just want to delete the table. I just wanted to delete the table right now. So, can you modular sofas and your armchairs? We're just going to do simplistic chairs. Alright, these are expensive, but we definitely are making a profit on the day. Because I've now got like, I did have 30,000 at one point there before that hour came in, before we spent all that money. So the money's definitely increasing. Right, lots of tables and chairs now in. So I've created like little walkways and stuff like that. So we'll do a couple more just over here then. So we've got the tables of fours basically I've just created. And then we'll go for some round ones right now. Watch, I do the chairs first. Actually, we'll create some tables of sixes next to kind of mimic this for larger families or group passengers. And then we'll do some tables of fours again, but these will be the circle ones. And then we'll do the round tables. 
I think that's gonna look. Oh, I'm gonna forget the tables here. I think that's gonna look really nice. Really nice. So then we'll finish off the food area then with these little counters because I do actually like them. So bring it up to there. Um, that I'll bring to there. Here we'll kind of do it like that with a two gap entryway. And it kind of encloses the area off which is I think fits really really well. So we'll obviously need a trash can over here. And I forget where you get the trash cans from. Um, is it within the seating section? Oh, we could have got those for that, that there, but it doesn't really matter. Um, decorations. I forgot where we get the trash cans from. Am I just... Dumb. Oh, there we go. Trash cans. <laughs> oh, hang on. Have I just rotated? Yeah. Uh, right. We'll drop a couple of trash cans just up in that corner. But we'll kind of get them um, on the major entrances and exits. Just to make sure we got plenty around, okay, when they leave this area. So that's good then. I'm actually happy with how that's now turned out. Um, so I could sign a contract over. So sign a contract. Uh, so it's not available for these guys because of the display fridges. They would want more. Cost of coffee, that's an actual place. They want more display fridges. Is that something that I could potentially add in to maybe get those higher contracts? After this, we'll sort that baggage thing out as well. Right, display fridge. So we've got a couple there. I could add them this... Well, I could do them... I could do them any way I wanted to, really. I could add a few going down here. Oh, insufficient funds. Okay, I'm poor again. <laughs> He's poor again, boys. He's poor. It's that every hour when we pay our two loans, it's that crippling debt that kills me. So I can add one there. I need... Is it three more? I'm thinking just here, to be honest with you. One, two, three. We'll go with that. And we should be able to start earning some decent revenue then at this point. So wait for them to build them last remaining three. Right, here they come. Let's go. And then sign the contract. So, yeah, cost of coffee, I can get them on board. Airport cut, 42%. I, that's ne I'm nearly getting half of all revenue generated. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, wait for them to turn up. We make some decent cash. And I think that's a pretty cool little area. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that little section. So, there we go. Workers are now turned up. And we'll now start generating revenue. Not bad. That's a cool little area, man. I like it. So, that issue now taken care of. Baggage. So, is that still within this I've got to do? Yeah. So, to be able to do that, build a generic conveyor belt scanner, which would be this. 15,000. Then I've got to build the destroyer, 10,000. So I need a minimum of 25,000 to be able to build those. That's what I'm going to need. So we'll hold out on that for just a second. I think the contract for this store is now officially ended. We, we made nearly 12 grand off them. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I think they're just going home, right? No, they're, they're back open. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, 25,000 for the baggage scanner. Then we'll stop having that issue happening for us. So, um, franchisee sales. Previous day, 2,000. Today, so far, 4,600. I mean, yeah, one of it is down to the rent. But, damn, we're getting them sales coming in, boys. We're getting them sales coming in. 
So we made 18 grand on the previous day, 12 grand so far on this day, but I am spending money on construction. So it is going to change. Those loans are slowly coming down. This one's now 156,000. Which hourly costs, you know, 1,700 times that by 24 for 24 hours in a day. Pfft. That adds up, man. That does add up. People are furious right now. People are furious right now. <laughs> but I'll soon be able to afford all the additional stuff anyway. All the extra baggage to get people moving. So still needing more janitor staff right now. By the looks of it. So we're slowly getting there. We're, we're slowly getting there, boys. Have I got these the... I might have these the wrong way around. Have I got them the wrong way around? I've got them the wrong way around. Dear God. I am so stupid. But it is what it is. It isn't there. I'm going to mess around with it just yet. <clears throat> right, I'm getting all these notifications coming in. I'm just going to cancel them. <laughs> if you cancel them, you can't see them. Uh, I gotta build that baggage stuff. Ugh, planes are running late. I'm gonna have to d delay stuff. It's kind of annoying. Right, how are the schedules looking anyway? So we're going into Saturday. Very, very busy. Great, mate. Great. Yes, I, I know about the baggage, please. I'm just waiting for that sweet money to come in. We're getting it. We've got 25 grand right now, but if I start building it, I'll break it, and then I'll have no bags going to any plane. And then we'll have some serious delays. So I've got to do it at the right time. I reckon I need about 40 grand in the bank to be able to kind of um, have the safety net to be able to build it all. That's what I reckon. That's what I'm thinking right now. So, not bad. Everything's looking good. Security is able to handle everything by the looks of it. People are getting off. Making money from the bags. This is good. It's all pushing in the right direction. So 20 grand in cash flow today. Not bad, the day is about to end. So 18,000 the previous day, this day it's officially going to be 16,000. Because we lost four grand on that previous hour. Fine. <laughs> Fine. But we're making profit. As minimal as it might be, we're making profit. Also, 50 grand now in the bank. I think we can uh, safely go ahead and build that baggage scanner. So we know they're all ticking along down here. So how it works is the baggage goes in one side and then comes out the other. And then we need to have a separate section for it to funnel out to go into the destroyer. So for that scanner itself, it goes in one way out the other. So technically I need it there and placed down about there. So I'm going to have to destroy these three. Okay. And if I can get it set up pretty quick. So that would go here. So my baggage would run down there, and then the destroyer, the destroyer, would go here. But it needs to... Oh! How do I cancel the destroy? It's got to be placed inside. My problem is... I don't have it inside. <laughs> I mean, because it instantly goes underground. So I'm going to have to... I'm, oh, this is a more money than I thought right now. Complete. Oh, I need to complete the R&D project floor construction permit to build on this floor. There's a lot more involved than I thought there was going to be. Well, have a fast forward then. Earn some more rev while we wait. So R&D. Oh, I didn't even stick anywhere to the belt loader. Ah, oh, angry, to say the least. Right. Okay, at least we know what's going down. So we're going to have to put up with that annoying alert now for a little while. We'll get the baggage loader done. I keep forgetting you got to put people on it. It's so annoying. It is so annoying. Now, have they finished that contract? Um, no, it's just they close at certain times. I keep forgetting that. So, we'll eventually build the other store here. I'm just trying to save some money because now I realize I've got to build foundations and buildings and all that kind of jazz. And it is, that is kind of annoying. So, I won't flip these around just yet. There's no need for me to do it just yet anyway. We'll kind of just let them run as they are. Okay. 
I'm just trying to keep on top of everything. So, jobs claimed. How many are parked up over here? Okay, so we're nicely spread out right now with the vehicles, which is pretty good. Really good. Okay, then, right, okay. So, while we're waiting then, let's take a look at some of the issues that we do have within it. So, one of them is complaining about the fact that... Um, the, airline, the fees for the airline, which is understandable because I did raise them. Passenger side of it, there's a uh, valuable service to passengers, improving the bathroom, seating, food, uh, shop, and quality of the franchises. Yeah, I get that. I'm probably going to turn this whole, like, centralize the whole bathroom. I think that would be such a better idea to go ahead and do. But also, you can do it where it's male or female or any it's currently on any so i can do a separate male and female bathroom to then like make the the guests a little bit more comfortable now up to there is 210 so one bathroom is going to be slightly bigger than the other so if i bring that to here i was going to do the store going all the way up but i probably still will do another store here hmm I don't know. I don't know at this point. All right, bringing that all the way up to there. So we know in the side, 190. So one's going to be here. I think I'll choose this one. So the larger one's here, which will make this the male restroom, only because they need an additional object, which is the urinal. And that's how we can argue that these guys get the bigger bathroom. It's only bigger by one, right? That's 100. This should be 90. That's 80. Oh. I do apologize. Cheating them out of an additional bathroom there. Uh, where's my walls? So that there then is 90. Oh! Oh, I'm so dumb. Because of the additional one in the mid. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's the exact same bit. Right, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Your boy didn't use his quick maths right there, did he? Right, bam to the bam, bam, bam. And then we got to set some doors up. So, yeah, make sure we do have these as doors. So, we'll do a door and a door. To get into these bathrooms. Right, how far we got with this now? 65%. Okay, so by the time we've done this, we should have done the belt load of stuff. So, bathrooms then. Toilet. Alright, get toilets going all the way down there. We'll maybe make it on this side. They cost 500 a pot. There we go. So, for the male bathroom, we do need to do urinals. Which I think I'm going to build additional wall inside. And we'll do it on this side as well. We'll build the additional wall. So in the women's toilet, it all becomes sinks. There and here. In the men's, it will be sinks on this side. So it hides the view from the door. And then all the urinals here. And then hand dryers will be here on this side. And they'll be here on this side. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. So let's get the nice clinic clinker flooring. As they say. Some decent bathrooms. So this will be female bathroom, and it is open. This will be the male bathroom, and it's open. Nice. Okay. There we go. More localized bathrooms. Sort them all out, and hopefully that increases the passenger experience. So it's gone from 15% now up to 46%. That's really good. We'll still need a few additional bits and bobs in there, but that's that's pretty good. Pretty good. We need a better um, store area, a shop area, um, and get a higher quality uh, clientele inside. 
that will kind of sort us all out. So I'll keep that one for now then, because it's kind of it's still serving a purpose. But that bathroom ain't too shabby. Right, this is now done. Floor construction permit. That's what I wanted to get done right now. To build underneath. So get you on the go. And while we're waiting then, should we hire those three belt loaders? I need four now. I need four belt loaded vehicles. So purchase. Uh, it's a small one. Four. Go. Alright, get them delivered. Now help out on the baggage side. Oh, I need more passenger service agents by the looks of it too. So staff, applicants, um, for passenger service agents. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll hire six more only because they were all green. You know, you can't you can't miss out on those um, highly educated members of staff right now. So those vehicles should have now turned up. And now we have um, them in stock. And you see the belt loaded trucks right now. They throw the baggage on, which makes it so much easier and quicker to load up. So planes can skid out on time. Makes a world of difference. It really does. Makes a huge world of difference right now. Um, staff, more janitors. Okay, we'll hire two more janitors. Yeah, it does make sense. I've added additional bathrooms in, so now they've got look, definitely got a whole lot more work to do. Right, I've hired four more just to kind of um, sort that out. And we should be able to keep on top of it now anyway. Um, okay. So, we've got to wait now till the R&D project here is done before I can build the baggage scanners underneath. Going really, really well. Um, do you reckon we just need some seating down for these guys as they progress further? Or should I... Actually, no. I'll wait till I've built this before I put some seating down. But maybe we should start to think about the flooring. Would be nice. So, what style of flooring could I go for for the airport? A red floor? This fancy matte flooring style? Hmm. we got a couple of options, haven't we? Right, if I went round the edge in, I mean, it's not too expensive. If I just went round the edge in right now, how does that look? Does it look a little bit silly, being that colour? I don't know if I like it or not. Uh, or do I go with the actual red red? Floors, I can do a wood floor. These marble floorings, concrete tiles, marble, light concrete. How different does it make it with the marble? <laughs> it's, it's the floor that's there now, <laughs> by the sounds of it. Um, this one. Hmm. It's a tough one, isn't it, to kind of choose this kind of scheme that you want to go with. Looking at it right now, I don't think this red is the the right one. I think the blue's a lot better. It's a lot more subtle. And if I did the whole of this, that'll cost me three thousand. So what I could do is I could eventually start, like, do what I've done now. Do you, do you reckon I should actually go around the edge by one more with this? Just to kind of stick it out by one. That's a bit better. Um, I might, you know, I might even change it to like a wooden floor. How much is that going to cost me? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below for like color schemes for um, for stores, for the terminal, for all that kind of jazz. I know I'm spending quite a bit of cash right now, but I don't. I think that wood's a bit too dark. I think that wood's a bit too dark as well. This light wood here. 
See, I don't mind that too much. I don't know. I don't know what the vibe of this airport's going to be like just yet. But I feel like we got to do something nice anyway. But uh, how far are we off right now? Okay, we're 85 per cent. What? So, again, we're getting there slowly, slowly but surely. Now, decorations. Should we throw a couple of, like, little plants in just to make this place look a little bit nicer? I think, I think so. So, when we got these little walkways like this, wow, it, the game literally lagged and put that in such an awkward position. So doing the plants like that, does that then create like a, a unique walkway? Or am I then creating barriers? I feel like it doesn't it doesn't work. If I did that then, does it kind of like mimic the spacing? And then if I did like a like a bench, oh well, it's too big of a bench. No, these little sofas. I want a too wide sofa. Um, laptop table is also free wide. Small, large. That's a work in progress, okay? I gotta figure out some designs. But let's get this uh, floor construction permit all underway anyway. Oh, we've got new stuff as well. We've got escalators, stairs, walkalators, elevators. Uh, was there like a new zone or something? Get the airline lounge. Is that a new one or something like that? Infrastructure. We've got now the road tunnel. Ooh, what's all this over here? Weather stations, radar towers. Damn. Okay. Right, again, too carried away. So let's go down and let's build. So to build this, how I want to do it, I've got to build this and that there into an underground section. So let's do try and do this step by step then. It's going to be a little bit difficult and a little bit confusing to kind of handle, but then that will kind of solve the baggage issues that we then got. Free your boy up slightly, and then these guys can leave me alone. Almost. So I'm getting ready to delete the walls. So get rid of the walls. And just to refresh my memory of how these work. So that would go there. So if I pause for just a second... So those three are gone. Then the baggage. Convey about. Would come down a little bit. Must be placed in a secure area. So baggage destroyer. Oh, gotta get this ready. So the bags will kind of just back up for there for a minute, won't they? Until we've got all this built. That should literally be all I need to do, right? I'm hoping so. I am hoping so. Oh, I can hear them working on stuff. I need to hurry up. Right, the destroyer's done, but they're now working on the actual scanner itself, which should be done. Bam, there we go, and it's now destroying the illegal baggage, which is adding that level of security right now to the airport, which is even better for us. Sweet, mate. So, we're almost done. <laughs> There's just one more thing to learn. Remote stands to maximize space, utilize 
a utilization of your airport stands that aren't connected to the terminal but can be built. Right. Oh, that's taking buses to it, isn't it? Right, we'll do that another time. But uh, we've got that baggage scanner up right now, which is going to sort us all out. Add that extra level of security. The airport is going to be wonderful. It really is. So I'm not liking the color scheme right now. I'm not liking it one bit. So what could I do to change it? I could do wood flooring throughout the whole airport, but that might feel a little bit weird. Is this concrete darker than the other concrete? It is. So I could concrete the whole area. Oh, I went too far there. And I could then like carpet the nicer stuff. But in, you know, what's this orange like? See, I've got orange because all the chairs are nice and orange and stuff like that. Or do I go dark flooring? I mean, I don't mind spending this because it's, it's not a lot of money I'm wasting. Or do I go dark flooring for the whole airport? Too many decisions, right? Too many freaking decisions right now. It's the dark carpet. Let me just go all the way down. And then like... Well, hang on, that's not the right one, is it? What have I selected? Oh, I've done it wrong. This is not carpet I've originally placed down. It's that dark concrete, isn't it? So I could do it like this. It looks a bit weird now because the store's closed. And then, like, in little areas, I can do carpet as little walkways, like here. Like, for example, say I chose to keep the orangeness. I know these are the wrong way around. But you can kind of, I can kind of do it like that, can't I? I got a flipper. I get it. But that could be my theme for the airport, like this golden, golden charcoal, black and gold, if you want to call it like that. That could be like a nice fitting feature. And then I could do like a nice, like a, a smaller walkway going up, and then leading out this way. There's a lot of stuff you could potentially do with this. There really is. So we'll see how it kind of progresses in the long run. But we've solved a lot of issues today anyway. We've 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 got to the point where we're consistently making like a decent profit. Not too bad. We've got... Oh, I wouldn't say solved, but we've really, really, you know, kind of aided the ability for people to get in and out of the airport. We've added the baggage scanners. So we've added security. We've added more of these queues so people can line up and get to where they need to get to. Same with the security as well. Uh, place down some seats so people are not standing all the time, even though there's still a lot of people, you know, standing and waiting. Added a bigger restaurante in right now so we can earn some more sweet, sweet cash. Localized the toilets a little bit more, you know, in the center. And things are definitely progressing. So the next uh, episode, I want to try and focus on paying off these loans. If I can pay them off, which actually one of them is not too long away from being done. Which is um, quite exciting. That's got another day or two left to go. And the larger one is not, not too long as well. Then that will save me. Because on the like previous day, 116,000. That will save me that a day. So add that on top of my current day. Damn. I could be pushing like 200,000 profit a day. Which is going to enable us to kind of keep those expansions rocking and a rolling. But yeah. It's about fine tuning everything, getting everything all right, so we can make even more cash. So we're then able to go ahead and build the larger international airport once we got all the funds definitely 100% on board. I also want to take a look at down here building a car park as well. There's a lot of stuff I've got to get done. But step by step, fine tune the process, and before you know it, your boy's instant rich. Instant rich, he says. So until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.